Hello, this is Tamara Evans, Adult Services Librarian at the Beaumont Library District. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an online Beanstack account to participate in the Beaumont Library District's Summer Reading Club. To begin, you want to go to the library's website, which is located at www.bld.lib.ca.us. Once you've arrived at the library's webpage, you want to scroll down until you see Click the photo below to sign up for our Summer Reading Club. Be aware that the Summer Reading Club will be held from Monday, June 7th to Saturday, July 24th. Next, you're going to click on the photo, like so, and this will take you to the library's Beanstack website, which is where you'll go to sign up for the library's Summer Reading Club. You'll know if you were able to successfully access our Beanstack website because you'll notice the library's logo on the top left side of the screen. You'll notice the library's photo in the center of the screen, and then there's options off to the right side of the screen. If you scroll down the web page, you'll see options to create different types of accounts, log in if you've already had an account, how the Summer Reading Club works, and then you'll see all the various summer reading challenges that are currently available, which are the Tween Summer Reading Club, the Teen Summer Reading Club, the Early Reader Summer Reading Club, and the Adult Summer Reading Club. As I said before, if you registered for the Summer Reading Challenge last year, then you'll click the button here where it says Sign In. Once you arrive to the Sign In screen, you'll type in your username or email address and then your password. If you haven't used Beanstack before and this is your first time, you'll click right here where it says Sign Up for Free. And be aware there's also options in case you have forgotten your username and password to provide information to get that information reset. So now I'm going to plan to sign up for a new account and options are as follows. I can click this first button here to the left to register an individual or a family or I can click the button to the right to register a class or a group. So for this tutorial I s I'm going to say I'm going to register an adult with a child so I'm going to click here to register an individual or a family. Now as you can see with the screen here is asking a question, have you previously used Beanstack to participate in a reading challenge? If you press the yes button, it'll take you back to the sign in screen where we were a few minutes ago. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna press no, which will imply that this is my first time using Beanstack's website. Now it's asking who would you like to register? Options are you can either register yourself or you can be an adult registering a child. And as I said before, I'm going to be an adult registering a child for this tutorial. So now I'm going to provide adult information. And as you can see here, you want to either input your phone number or email address so that we can contact you if you're a prize drawing winner, since we will be giving away prizes at the end of the summer reading club. So now I'm going to provide information such as first name, last name, username. And as you can tell, these are required pieces of information we need, which is noted by the red dot like so. At this point, I'm going to type in a person's name. So we're going to say it's Rita Reader, last name Reader. And then we're going to create a username for her. And I usually would recommend making a username, your first name and your last name. And then as Note it here in the box, either provide a phone number or email address so that the library staff can contact you if you win a prize. So for this tutorial, I'm going to provide a phone number like so. And then zip code. Then scroll down farther, create a password. And then type in that same password a second time. Then the next question is, what's your primary library? And so I'm going to select Beaumont Library District. And then since I said I was an adult signing up a child, I'm going to type in the name of my child here. And then you select the age for your child. And so be aware that you can select whole ages as well as half ages. So for example, if your child is six and a half, you do have the option to select the six and a half for an age or whole ages. So we're going to say that Ryan Reader is, we'll say that he's 12 years old and we'll click the next button like so. And so as you can see at the bottom right here, Ryan's account has been created.
And now based on the age level that I provided, it's bringing up the challenge that's available for him to register for. So I'm going to select register like so. So as you can see here, um, it gives you the option to add a grade level this fall. So we'll say sixth grade. Why not? And then it gives the option to either join a challenge or cancel. So I'm going to click join a challenge. And so now you see, since Ryan's joined a challenge, now unlocked a summer reading badge for the Teen Tweens Summer Reading Club. So now I'm going to press next. And now it's going to ask me, do I want to register another child? So since I'm just registering my, you know, imaginary patron and a child, I'm going to put select no. And then it's going to ask what I like to register myself. So I'll select yes. And then it's going to ask my age. And so I'm going to select for this patron I created that she is, we'll say that she's 42. Then click next. And then as you can see, since I've registered her for the adult reading challenge, she's unlocked a badge and also earned a ticket for one of the adult summer reading club prizes. So I'm going to exit out of that. And then the question is asked, would I like to add another adult? I'm going to select no. Okay, now this is showing all reading logs and activities for each of the readers. And so by default, it's showing the reader that I added first, which is Ryan. And so it shows the challenge that Ryan is currently participating in, which is the Teen Summer Reading Club. Um, Ryan has the option to add log reading minutes, log activities, or to write book reviews. And if you look here, just navigating through the different options here, there's the challenges, there's friends. So if it has friends on Beanstack, it'll show that there. If he writes reviews, it'll show that in that area here. And there's options to do written reviews and picture reviews. Any badges that Ryan has earned will show up under all badges, like so. And then reading log will show up right here. And then as you notice, there's different um, reading streaks that Ryan can create. Now, if I wanted to see Rita, the mother's profile, I'll click where it has Ryan's name, click on that. And as you can see, it shows Ryan Reader here and then Rita Reader. So I'll click on Rita's name. And as we can see, it has similar information. So I'll go back to challenges. And now we see that Rita's participating in the Adult Summer Reading Club. And then the tab information is pretty much the exact same as with Ryan. If Rita was in a previous challenge, you click the pre past tab and it would show any past challenge she was involved in. And then if she ignored a challenge, then it would show that as well. Then to log out of the Beanstack website, you would go up to this gear here in the top right side of the page and click on that, which would give you the options to either edit your account or sign out. So now I'm going to click the sign out button like so. And this returns me to the Beanstack homepage. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please check our Facebook page and YouTube pages for more tutorials similar to this one. Thank you and have a good day.